Welcome back to my channel guys, it's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion and lifestyle and personal styling guys. So in today's video I wanted to talk to you guys about the secret to vertical style challenges. And I know you guys are like what the heck is that right? So a vertical style challenge is when women who are taller, anybody over 5'7", because I believe they say 5'7 is considered tall but I think that the true trouble really starts to coming at around 5'9". Um, so this is for women who actually struggle with finding clothes that fit them, fit their body, right? And that's from jeans, to skirts, to dresses, to trousers, to shorts, to jackets, to blazers, and coats, and sometimes shoes, guys. So this is for anyone who struggles with any type of dressing for your vertical, your body, your style challenges. So this is why I came up with that kind of little way of saying, instead of saying struggling with your body type, I say vertical style challenges and that's for my tall women. So today I wanted to talk to you about the top secret into tackling those challenges. And I wanted to jump in with a little bit of why we struggle with these things and let's get started. So the reason why we struggle with this is because most of the time, we don't take the time to actually go in and do research, finding out which brands and stuff that cater to us. We just go into the store and we try to pick up what someone who is an average height picks up, right? Now, we have to always remember this. Designers do not make clothes based on our body type. They make clothes based on that particular model. So then you have places like The Gap. They make these clothes supposedly for average. They have tall but it doesn't necessarily fit us like it's supposed to. So that's when tailoring comes in. You guys know I always talk about tailoring and it's a key to pretty much anything. So with that being said, let's jump into the secrets on how to tackle them. So the first thing is I did my research, okay? Um, this is probably the biggest thing with the exception of one more thing on this list. Doing your research will help you eliminate so much time wasting in the malls, okay? We go to the malls, we shop around aimlessly. Yes, we wanna just browse through the stores, but it becomes very frustrating when you cannot find anything that actually fits you properly. And what I would say is the first thing, look into your closet, find out the clothes that you have already and the brands that they are, and see if those clothes actually fit you how you would like them to fit. If that is the case, those are the first list of names that should be on your list to shop, right? Because you currently are purchasing those things and you like them. The next thing I would say to do is now you're diving into other brands. What other brands carry tall? What other brands carry maybe plus size? Something that targeted targets your vertical style challenge, right? So if you are a plus size woman, I will also include you in this too because it's very hard for you as well. Um, we do have a lot more plus size brands that have gorgeous clothes, so it may not be as hard for you guys nowadays, but it's definitely a struggle for us tall ladies. So that is the first thing I would say is doing your research, finding the brands that actually cater to you, look into your closet, see what you've already been buying, and go from there. The second thing I would say is your measurements. Your measurements is the key guys if you know that you are a 32 pants okay you should not be in a store where they only have well not 32 33 um, you should not be in a store that only carries a 31 unless you want those pants to fit you like ankle pants okay um, just avoid the store or the section in general because you don't want to end up again frustrated because nothing fits you. If you shop the right way, shop the brands that carry your style, your style and your size, you wouldn't have a problem. You would leave happy with the clothes that you want. So that is the second thing. Number three is start reading labels, okay? And product details for online shoppers. Again, I am an online shopper. So for me, I'm always reading the details. And the reason why I like the details is because they'll most likely have the height of the model, right? She may be a size two, but they have the height. And from there, you could actually gauge how it's actually gonna be on your body. 
So of course you size up for your size or size down, but as far as the length of the item, you could actually see that they have the inseam um, inches. They have, I think they have it from crotch to ankle, I believe, how they have it written. I guess it really depends on where you're buying it from. But look at the details, the material, the stretch, all that. All of that is gonna help you into tackling your style challenges. If you know that certain jeans from a certain company never have stretch and you don't like that, you don't buy it. So maybe they'll come out with a brand or style one day where it has a little bit of stretch, but you won't know unless you read the product details. So read the product details. It's definitely going to help and clear up a lot of the drama for you when you're shopping. And the last thing is finding the brands that cater to you again. So it goes back to looking into your closet, but in the researching, right? I have a lot of brands that I've just discovered from just Googling things that I want. And what I have noticed guys, which sucks, <laughs> but it's a good thing. Um, I have noticed that a lot of higher end brands carry longer lengths in pants and jeans. Um, not sure why that is, but that is what I have been noticing a lot lately. I know Alice and Olivia, they have, extra, they have extra long pants. The good thing about Alice and Olivia is they have a in-store tailor. So the, the bottom of their pants are made with a raw hem so you could actually get it taken in, which I think that's absolutely brilliant. Um, they are literally on the pricey side, but I think that's worth it for something that actually fits you and not be high waters, guys. So <laughs> those are all my little secrets and tips on how to tackle vertical style challenges. And that is research, okay? Finding the brands that cater to you, knowing your measurements, and reading product labels if you are shopping online. Even if you're in the store, learn how to read the labels. And if you can't see information that you need in store, go online, they'll have it online. And that's gonna help you out to tackle these style challenges. <laughs> so if you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NY and head over to my website at CocoStylesNY.com. And guys, don't forget to hit that like, comment, and subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.